Thank you very much, Madam First Minister of the day. Victor is on a level one of the dynamic leadership path. And today he's, he'll be delivering a speech on the evaluation and feedback project. The purpose of this project is to, to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback, apply and apply the feedback to a second. The purpose of today's speech is for Victor to demonstrate that he applied feedback received from his first speech. The title of Victor's speech is Gender Paradox of Suicide. Gender Paradox of Suicide, Victor Omondi. Victor Omondi, Gender Paradox of Suicide. <coughs> Shortly after finishing high school, Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator. In his speech today, Victor Omondi was to demonstrate that he applied feedback that he had received from his first speech. This speech is delivered as part of the evaluation and feedback project. What did I like about your speech, Victor? I liked how you captivated me with your opening. You started off with by telling us of the shocking news that you received about your math teacher taking his life. And then you went ahead to explain why this was so shocking. It was because he was such a happy man. What this opening did was it captured my attention, but most importantly, it was relevant to the rest of your speech and therefore led me into your topic of discussion. I also liked your use of references to research in your speech. You referenced the World Health Organization, Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, an article from the healthydebate.ca, an article by Helen Schumacher on the BBC website, among others. What these all did was it made you appear to me as a credible speaker on the subject and therefore much more convincing. What do I think you could improve on, Victor? I would advise you to consider using anecdotes to bring life to the facts in your speech. I thought that you explained your research very well, where you stated the particular fact and then explained what it means to us. However, the shortcoming of this is that it did not help me to emotionally connect with the facts that you are presenting to us from the different research that you've done. And so in future, I would ask you to consider using anecdotes or short stories to bring these uh, facts to life and to help me make an emotional connection to your speech. You could also consider referencing your opening in your conclusion. Just before you close, you can make one final push to make your point. Your opening was a living and relatable illustration of your speech, and I felt that you could have referred to it in the light of what you've told us in the body of your speech, like in the light of what you've told us in the body of your speech, why was your math teacher taking his life so shocking? It will also give me a sense of closure. Finally, I thought that your speech had a clear speech organization with transitions between the sections, you captured our attention and introduced your topic in the opening. You had three points in your body with clear transitions between them, and you also had a clear closing. This made your speech seem clear, coherent, and also convincing. In conclusion, you cap I liked you that you have a, had a captivating opening, that you use references. You could consider using anecdotes and referencing your opening in your conclusion. And finally, I thought you had a clear speech organization with transitions between the sections. Great job, Victor. Back to you, Madam General. Thank you very much, Victor. 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 Thank you very